On the morning of May 12th, NHS staff were about to be confronted by a major outbreak. As an epidemic swept like wildfire across the country. But the disease didn't infect patients, and it wasn't biological. Instead, it attacked the central nervous system of the NHS itself. Across the country, computer systems were knocked out by a highly contagious computer virus. Hello, can I speak to IT, please? That became known as WannaCry. There's a message on my screen that says my file's been encrypted. This is the story of a uniquely challenging day for the National Health Service, a day when the NHS itself became a patient. It was attacked by a particularly vicious piece of computer code which took down its networks, its computers and anything attached to them. And that meant patient record systems, CT scanners, even MRI machines, putting not just data but also patients' lives at risk. The surgeon looked very forlorn and very sorry, and that was when he then told me that uh, he couldn't do the operation. We were unable to book appointments, we were unable to see who would be coming in tomorrow, so we were really paralysed and uh, at a loss of what to do. Horizon unpicks the science behind the recent widespread cyber attack that hit our National Health Service. And in his first television interview, we meet the 22-year-old cyber security specialist who stopped it in its tracks. I checked the message board. There were maybe 16, 17 reports of different NHS sort of uh, organizations being hit. And that's sort of the point where I decided uh, my holiday's over, I've got to look into this. The outbreak exposed a vulnerability at the heart of the NHS. I'm a doctor and all of this is a worry. I want to know what happened, I want to know why it happened, and I want to know how I can protect my patients from this new strain of infectious disease. I found out about the attacks the way most people did, through news reports. Now, mercifully, the hospital that I worked for wasn't affected. But as details emerged, it became clear that colleagues all over the NHS were getting into work that day, setting up their computers and being greeted with a screen that looks like...